So hi again everybody. Um, I was just in Jennifer's office and I saw the camera here as I was thinking about a whole bunch of the comments that everybody left on the first video I posted today, uh, which has been really fun. Thank you so much for all that feedback. But one of the things that's coming up a lot is the whole idea of scripting versus just, you know, speaking from the top of your head. And I thought, all right, let's do a couple minutes where I'll show that I can indeed speak from the top of my head. Um, although I do think I needed the script for that other video because there were just so many different things that I wanted to talk about. The organized gen, disorganized on polarity and like what that means to me, it just connects to like every other idea in my head. And so I, if I just start talking about it off the cuff, I just can't keep it focused on you know, connecting from the three or four ideas that I really wanted to make sure I got in that first video. Uh, you know, and as I was thinking about that, I thought of one of my favorite philosophers, this French guy, Henri Bergson, and some people were asking about what I like to read, and so I thought to do a little contempor contemporaneous, uh, um, off the top of the head thing, um, contemporaneous is not the right word, I thought I would tell you guys about this one idea from, uh, from Bergson, about time and about how the mind accesses reality. And Bergson says that your intuitive mind and your analytical mind are two different but equally legitimate ways of accessing reality. Uh, they're both legitimate, they're both ways for you to, to interface with what's really out there, and neither one is really complete on its own. And people tend to either prefer one method or the other or and kind of look down on the other method, but they're just, they're fundamentally different, and it's the difference between action and reflection, you know, which is sort of like the difference between me standing here talking and when I'm able to go sit in the corner and, like, think about the idea that I want to have. Uh, but at least when I've thought about the idea enough times, I can, you know, I can explain it uh, easily on the spot, because it's just, this is just one contained thing. So what Bergson says is that, you know, with your analytical mind, that's the part of your mind that like that uh, logically thinks about cause and effect and invariably what you do is you you break down your experience of time into discrete components you go it, what you're doing is you're modeling your analytical mind is modeling your experience of reality and you know the stuff that I used to do in trading is all about using computers to do exactly that kind of analytical processing of numbers um, the, hum the computer doesn't have any intuition but traders, expert traders who know how to perceive the market conditions and have experience with the different regimes, uh, they were able to make decisions that the computers couldn't make with their intuition that would usually lead to a better process uh, or lead to a better outcome. And so your, the thing about your intuitive mind is that the intuitive mind experiences reality as a singular indivisible flow. And Bergson's theory is that when you step out of that experience and start to try and break it up, well, there's something about the cause and effect that's lost because actually all those moments, they flowed one right into the other. There's no space between them. No matter how granular you get with your analytical uh, analysis, you're, you're never actually in the moment. Um, you know, for me, my intuitive mind, you know, on the Myers-Briggs, I'm an INTP, I'm super, super strong on intuition. That just, what I come out on that test, it says your preference is way extreme towards the intuitive side. And that sort of goes along with being a P, I think, even though Jennifer's an N and a J, but at least it makes sense to me. Um, I like to leave things open-ended. Uh, and so my mind is always kind of looking for connections is what I think it's sort of good at. Uh, and that's why I know in some cases I absolutely need to script what I'm saying because my mind will just fly off on these crazy connections and I'll never get to my point. Um, my point here was just to share that thing from Henry Bergson because, you know, that's this age-old debate about what is intuition really. And I think his point about the true nature of time and how if you want to understand reality, you always have to account for the time dimension. So often that's the mistake we make. We think that we know the answer, and it might have been the answer just for that moment where you thought you knew it, but the world is different immediately after you come to that conclusion. Uh, so um, don't be too rigid in your thinking is uh, my life lesson for the day. <laughs>